Land flipping, what we do is we basically, over these different ways, we figured out that there's lots and lots and lots of people that own a piece of land, that they inherited it, that they've had it for many years, that perhaps they had plans for, perhaps they wanted to build a house on to retire on, but then life and circumstances changed, like perhaps they got ill or, or they just want to be close to their grandchildren and so on, or they bought one here and one here in the country, and they built something here, and now they have this one left over, or they passed away and the heirs have it, and many, many reasons why, but for many reasons, uh, they're willing to let these properties go at way steeper discounts than the house flippers because mm -hmm. they don't see the in, in immediate use in it. Like a house, if you're not completely stupid, you can basically figure out a way to, to get somebody in there, rent it or, or sell, it, sell it as a handyman special or whatever thing, just get some use out of that house. Mm -hmm. right? And a piece of land, people don't look at it and they're like, I don't know what to do with that thing. It's just sucking money out of my pocket. I don't want it. Mm -hmm. So we have figured out that there's Thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people that don't want there anymore figured out how to contact them with through direct mail and then uh, how to get them under contract. So we basically, we select an area, multiple areas. We like to focus on three kinds of properties, infill lots. We sell those to builders, lots in the path of growth, like 30, 40 minutes or 20, 10 to 45 minutes outside of a bigger city. We uh, love those because... Uh, the, 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 the buyers are either future retirees that can't retire in the city, but, and, or, uh, but because they, they, they want Social Security, won't cover their expenses. So they're looking for a lower cost retirement place. And outside of the town, are usually cost of living is lower. So they, they pay this off. They often they pay monthly payments. They pay this off. And then they, they later on put a mobile home on there once it's paid off and they have a dignified retirement. Or nowadays, with, since COVID, it's all the people that work from home. They love that kind of land. A lot of them, they love that kind of land because they want to be outside the city. They want to be spaced. Not everyone wants to live in a cookie cutter mm -hmm. neighborhood where the, where, the, where the neighboring fence is and you can reach it out of your window. Right. right. And so we, uh, and the third kind of property we focus on is large acreage in the more recreational areas. And, and that has a built-in buyer base of, of all the RV people, the ATV RV people. Like you look at, we're both living in Phoenix. You look at Flagstaff up there every mm -hmm. Friday. It's a beeline up there with huge $100,000 RVs, ATVs, F-350s with motorcycles on the back, mm -hmm. uh, boat behind it, uh, you name it, camper behind it. Uh, and all those people have a ton of money and they want land, mm -hmm. right? Great. So we have three areas that are absolutely, we have a ton of, bu ton of built, in, built in demand and we have a lot of it available too. Right. So that's what we focus on. So we, we pick an area of that. We can dive into that deeper in a little bit if you want to. And uh, once we pick that area, we now get a list of them through some of the data sources. And then we send them out direct mail. Direct mail for us still works because there's much less competition. So the response rates in a well-selected area can easily be in the 3 or 4% range. Really? That's really high. On one letter. Mm -hmm. Not on repeat letters, but on one. Wow. Which is about 10x what, what house flippers typically get. Mm -hmm. And uh, on a volume thing, yes, house flippers sometimes tell me, well, I get a 3% response rate on this tiny mi micro niche, but you only send out 250 letters. Right. So you got like two answers on that. And that's, yeah, no, we're talking about you send out a few thousand letters or so, you get 100 answers back. Yeah. And then, again, not all of them are willing to let these properties go for pennies on a dollar, but enough are. So we have some follow-up systems and so on that we do. And out of that typically one out of 25 or 30 offers that you make get accepted. Mm -hmm. So you get a, you, you send out 3,000 mailers, you get 100 answers, you have four deals coming into the door. And those four deals, you then immediately wholesale as a standard way is wholesaling them, and then you make money with that. And if the average profit, let's say in our student base, the average profit is about a $15,000 profit, then that's right there. That's $60,000. Yeah. So you spent... Two grand on marketing, make 60 grand. That's a trade I would do probably every day. Yeah. Right? And now you take that money and you reinvest some of that into your business and you build it up. The benefit of that method is, number one, you can do it all 100% from home because you don't have to go see land. You can use aerial pictures for it. Also, because it's 100% from home, the entire United States is your playground. Uh, you can do it anywhere. So you pick the best areas that you like in the country. You go after it. The other benefit is like, now, within a very fairly short period of time, a few months, you've made 60 grand, 80 grand, 100 grand. 
And that becomes now your seed money for anything else you want to do. If ultimately you want to own apartment complexes, well, if you want to do a $10 million apartment syndication in an apartment complex in the multifamily world, in order to even get a loan for that, your net worth needs to be equal or higher than the purchase price of this property. So you need to have, a, if you want to be the sole syndicator for that thing, you need to have a $10 million net worth. Otherwise, you can't buy that lot, that, that building. So you need to build somehow some net worth. And that's where the notes come in. As, as you build these wholesale deals, over time, what you do is you also sell some with self-financing. Now, if you sell a property with $50,000 with a $10,000 down payment, you just build a $40,000 note. Mm -hmm. When you have that $40,000 notes and they make payments on it, your net worth just went up by $40,000. You do 25 of those notes a year, your net worth just went up by a million dollars. Now you're much closer to qualifying for a smaller multifamily deal. On top of it, you have cash flow coming in, which the banks like to see. Right. And, and then if you still do some cash deals, you have extra cash. Now you have the cash for the down payment. You have the net worth to qualify for the deal. And now you can buy some of these bigger deals. Yeah. Now, as we compare that to houses, if you want to do that same thing for a house, you build up $60,000. Well, you need that as a down payment for a house. The 60 grand are gone, and you only have 500 in cash flow. If you do it with a land deals on that kind of deal, like $50,000, that you have on a contract for 10, you get a $10,000 down payment, you have zero money out of pocket, and you built a same $500 cash flow with zero money out of pocket. So it's superior in my mind. Yeah. If you structure it the right way. Oh, no, I told you. If you like what you just saw, click this video next to me to watch the full episode.